Taking a back seat, a roadmap to rediscovering marriage. Fox 5 Morning News at 9 starts right now. Serving all of San Diego, this is your Fox 5 News. Again, if you have the kitties in the room, as Erica said yesterday, it's probably a good time to scooch them on out. Go give them a snack or something. Get them out of the room. It is estimated that some 20% of married couples are having sex, le sex less than 10 times a year. Dr. Rose Hartzell of San Diego Sexual Medicine at Alvarado Hospital is here now with ways to reinvigorate, if you will, a sexless marriage. Dr. Rose, good morning. Good morning. Bet you a lot of people are listening to this this morning. I hope so. So we have some talking points here. I'm just going to read the talking points and then you give us your expertise on this, okay? So here we go. Number one. Discuss the impact, uh, uh, basically having children on couples' sexual relationship. What changes when you have a kid? Well, I was working with one sex therapist mm -hmm. early in my career, and she used to describe each child as a bomb on the relationship. Oh, and I, although that's an extreme yeah. uh, metaphor, I think it does have a lot to say. They can be blessings <laughs> on, a, on a relationship, but in terms of your sex life, right. they can often create a lot of uh, decrease in the amount of sex that you're having. Okay, th this one kind of uh, was very interesting to me. Pregnancy and parenting of small children changes women's experience of touch. What is that? What, explain that to me. When you think about it, when you first meet your partner, mm -hmm. you're longing to be with them, you're wanting to touch them. When you have a child, that child is a very big physical investment on the woman. Yeah. They're literally feeding from the woman. I know Chrissy and um, Shelly could agree that there's a lot of touch going on. And at the end of the day, yeah. a woman often wants to be by herself and have a little space. And so um, touching her partner could be the last thing she wants. Solutions to this? A great thing that m husbands can mm -hmm. do is to take the child away, um, either feed them with a bottle or, or um, cuddle them, or give the wife some space to get into her own body again. Okay, so another question is the result of, if sexual encounters are routine, and very brief in a relationship. It's almost like you're doing it because you feel like you have to and you're checking it off of a list of chores to do around the house because you're married, you have kids, and this is just another thing on your checklist. Correct. You want your sexual encounters to be pleasurable. Uh, and if you are, if they're routine and boring, mm -hmm. they could uh, not be something you want to keep doing. So one thing that I like to tell couples yeah. is to yeah. what I call make love all day. So that yeah, what could is, be. What does that mean? Mm, well, you don't want to just have sex and that's your physical affection mm -hmm. time, and then never have physical affection mm -hmm. outside of the sex part. So during the day, when you get home from work, give your wife a kiss, give her a little. Uh, pat on the butt, uh, let her know that you care, uh, flirt with her, take, you know, take the children once in a while. Another thing that yeah. um, is often important is fantasy. And I was just thinking in terms of you and your wife, um, I'm sure the viewers probably think the same thing. You look a little like Superman, maybe without the glasses. Um, <laughs> Where is this going, Dr. Rose? <laughs> so one thing that, that often is, <laughs> one thing that's often good for, um, couples is to incorporate some role play, some mm -hmm. fantasy, um, and uh, some um, variety in, in Is that bedroom. easier said than done? Because a lot of people have pr trouble uh, maybe asking specifically, this could include fantasy, but asking mm -hmm. for what you want sexually. Is, mm -hmm. is that something that you can open up lines of communication as far as that's mm -hmm. concerned? Uh, you don't know if you don't ask. Mm -hmm. okay. So, And if it's too difficult to ask, sometimes right. it's good to see a, a sex therapist. Um, but especially when you have children and work and there's so many things going on in your mind, um, right. having some fantasy helps you to focus on the sexual event. <clears throat> What's the best way to actually bring that up though? Like did you say hey I have, do you write it out and say here this is what I'm what? You could. It could be easier to write it out. One way was just when you're hanging out together be like hey baby when I do this <laughs> what do you think of this or what do you think of this? I like that. Hey baby. <laughs> no? Okay uh, you say dads who help out more often. This is a, uh, this is, <laughs> yeah. Dads who help out more often, they have wives who have more sexual desire. So basically, if you're a dad who's helping around the house, 
you're helping your wife. Mm -hmm. and, uh, give us some details on that. What does that mm -hmm. mean? Uh, if you are taking the child, um, helping with the chores, which I know that you do, yes, um, do, that gives the woman a little more space to do what she needs to do for mm -hmm. herself, it be that workout, take a nap. And those wives are often more willing to uh, thank that behavior uh, in the bedroom if they feel like they've had some space for themselves and some help in the house. Okay, <laughs> now, okay. You say, for, I, I agree with this one, forego social night with other people for a really good sex night with one another. It's uncommon that you can have both in the same night. Ex right. Uh, it's good to take some time you know, at least two hours for you to connect physically, emotionally, and make that experience your night, not... Right. Uh. And, and it's important, I think, uh, this, uh, you take your calendar and you mark a couple of weekends mm -hmm. on the calendar where basically it's, this is, this is your time. Don't go out with your friends. Don't go out no with anybody chores, else. It's only you. No chores, no phone calls, no paying bills. Right. Get, the, get somebody to babysit, get mm -hmm. the grandparents in there, and have a date night, have a couple hours for yourself, maybe go out for a night. And if you can't afford to get the babysitter, right. go put the kids to bed early, dedicate that time in the evening for your, the self, because the that, two of you. Because you need that couple time. Mm -hmm. You can't let that go away. It's so important. Man, I just had a date night last Friday. I said, get the grandparents Yay, in here. Go We're going girl. Dinner and a show, just like the old days. Dinner and a show, I'll tell you what. That was good, anyway. And I thank you at the end. Oh, jeez, Dr. Rose. <laughs> To reach Dr. Rose Hartzell at San Diego Sexual Medicine, Alvarado Hospital, all you have to do is go to our website, fox5sandiego.com, click the Scene On tab. I feel like I was turning red during most of that segment. Thank you, Dr. Rose. Thanks for having me. She's awesome. Thank I you. like it when she purposely makes you blush, Raul. Because <laughs> it's so Even easy. through all this makeup, she's making me blush. It's so easy to do. It is it? It is. All right, thank you for that.